The Giants limped home from their trip to Cincinnati in their miserable preseason opener on Friday night, overloaded with injuries and knowing that they had some pretty ugly game film to watch on Sunday morning. They were able to take a few positives out of their 23-10 loss to the Bengals, but not many. Mostly, it just showed them that they still have a lot of work to do. More communication, more, more, fo more focus on, um, on tackling, and um, I think uh, the coach said earlier that, that we lost a physical battle, and the physical battle is, is one thing, it's definitely one thing that, that we try to win. But um, the biggest measure of our team would be um, to see how we bounce back. There's a lot of stuff we got to get better on. <laughs> I think it's very simple. You know, obviously we would say, just like the offense line, they're going to say they need to block better. Quarterback is going to say they need to command and throw better. Receiver is going to want to say they need to catch better. We're going to say we need to run harder. The tight ends, it's, it's very common sense. We just need to play better, plain and simple. Just need to come out um, and, and make sure that we, we know and do the correct assignments that we have. The good news for the Giants is there's still almost a month until their regular season opener, which gives them more than enough time to heal. And they've already gotten some good injury news. Both linebacker Jamil McLean and guard Jeff Schwartz are cleared to return to practice this week. And safety Landon Collins, who injured his knee on Friday night, is listed as day-to-day. -day, and some in the Giants think he could be back a lot sooner than they originally thought. With the Giants, Ralph Vacchiano, SNY.